Have you ever thrown out a TV ladder to regret it? I do regret not filming this TV more thoroughly, however I've put together some footage and facts for your viewing pleasure. What we have here is the TIAC Max 85. It's a pretty big TV of 78 centimeters, an unusual size. Notice on the front that there is a sheet of glass. It's removable and the manual states that it is the contrast screen. However, I don't remember it having any tint. Moving down, there is a rotatable control panel. The television is actually one big floor standing unit that does not separate from the cabinet. You can see the big speakers included and there's the instruction manual which gives us some more clues to this series of television. The manual seems to state that there are three models, the Max 85, the Max 70 and the CT28. Here are some pictures from the manual indicating each one. This is the Max 70, it looks very similar to the Max 85 having a cabinet built in. Lastly is the CT28, probably a 66 cm tube inside. It doesn't have a built in cabinet, it's a freestanding model. Let's go around the back, the cover's already off the back. Let's check out the tube. If you notice there on the PCB, there seems to be a lot of chips, a lot of big chips sitting down there. At first, I thought the TV was a rebadged Philips matchline. However, it turns out that it is in fact a Schneider, a rebadged Schneider television. Schneider Max 85. Schneider started as an electronics radio company in 1936. Schneider produced many CRT TV sets and monitors until they went to the dark side of LCDs. Come on Rob, hurry up and move somewhere useful. Go to that label on the tube. Philips M78, unusual size and monitor grade by the look of it. Taking a closer look at the remote control, notice up close number 26 is video RGB SCART. You can select specifically if you want RGB via the SCART socket. Unfortunately, I didn't capture any footage of the television powered on. We're almost at the end of the video. I'll let it run for a bit longer to get as much minor detail as possible. There's the back cover. There's the label. Oh yeah, there are the cutouts for the two SCART sockets. The television was originally for sale on either Gumtree or eBay. Can't remember which one for about 20 bucks and it was for sale for ages and then finally I decided I'll pick it up. I went into a retirement home, stopped at the chap's place. He helped me load it in the back of my hatchback. It's a big TV, it was a bit of a, a messy job. The old fella must have thought, why do I want this big TV piece of junk? And it did turn out pretty bad actually. The tube was very blurred and very dim. It had a hard, long life. Still, interesting model to look at. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please share, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.